Dear citizens of Israel, good evening. Since the war started, I stated that we are in a struggle against Iran's axis of evil. This is a survival war against a choking ring of terror armies and missiles that Iran aims to tighten around our necks. In my Congress speech days ago, I mentioned three main branches of this evil axis, Hamas, Houthis, and Hezbollah, the three threats. In recent days, we have delivered heavy blows to each of them. Three weeks ago, we attacked Hamas's chief of staff, Mohammed Daif. Two weeks ago, we struck the Houthis in one of the farthest Air Force attacks. And yesterday, we attacked Hezbollah's chief of staff, Fuad Shukr, known as Mohsen. On behalf of Israelis, I express deep thanks to the IDF and Shin Bet, to the Mossad and the Air Force and all security branches for precise execution in three arenas. Yesterday's attack killed Nasrallah's deputy. Mohsen was directly responsible for the massacre of our children in Majd al-Shams. He was responsible for the murder of many Israeli civilians and others. He led the relentless attack on our citizens in northern settlements during nine months of war. He was one of the most wanted terrorists in the world. The U.S. placed a bounty of $5 million on his head, and not without reason. He was involved in the murder of 241 American soldiers and 58 French soldiers in Beirut in 1983. He was a key figure in the Iran-Hezbollah link and was in charge of the group's missile array. A few days ago, during my visit to the horrific massacre site in Maidal Shams, I saw the depth of the grief of the families who lost everything. I told our Druze brothers and sisters, we are brothers, there is a life pact between us, and this pact is getting even stronger. The murder of the innocent children added to the unceasing suffering of our beloved northerners who were exiled from their homes and who suffered severe injuries in their settlements. And for that, we will not be silent. We settled with Morrison, and we will close accounts with anyone who hurts us. Anyone who abuses our children, anyone who murders our citizens, anyone who harms our country. Blood in his head. Israeli citizens, challenging days ahead. Since the attack in the capitals, daily sounds are heard from all sides. We are prepared for any scenario, and we will stand united and determined in the face of any threat. Israel will set a very heavy price for any treachery against us from any arena. Israeli citizens, already in the first days of the war, I said she would spend time and that she will require patience from all of us. For months, not a week goes by that we are not told, I am not told. From home and needed, ended the war. To end the war because we have exhausted what can be achieved and you can't win at all. I didn't give in to those voices then and I will not give in to them even today. We would not give in to the pressures on us. We would not have eliminated the elected members of Hamas and thousands of terrorists. These, we would not have destroyed such extensive terrorist and information infrastructures of Hamas. It would have simply remained with them. We would not change on the Philadelphia axis and the soot crossing, Hamas's oxygen pipe that allows them to arm themselves and rebuild. And we wouldn't create the conditions that bring us closer to the outline that will also return our abducted. Your and it will also allow us to achieve all the goals of the war, to return all of our abductees, to eliminate the military and governmental capabilities of Hamas, to ensure that it will no longer pose a threat to Israel, and to return our settlers in the south and north safely to their homes. All the achievements we have achieved in the last months, our achievement because we did not give up, and that we made brave decisions despite many pressures from home and necessary. And I tell you, it was not easy. I had to prioritize a lot. A lot of pressure, but above everything we achieved it, because our warriors, both in the regular and in the reserves, in the IDF, in the IDF, in the Mossad, and in the police, they don't give up. They fight like lions. They are determined to win. And I, together with the people of Israel, support them with great love and great faith in the righteousness of our way. We don't forget for a moment the thoughtful families who lost their most precious the families of the abductees who wish for the return of their loved ones, and our sinners who fight bravely for the restoration of their lives. Thanks to them, and thanks to you, citizens of Israel, together we fight, and with God's help, together we will win.